So for today, we're going to be looking at week 13. I think this is the first time I've ever set that considering I don't remember ever having a week 13. So this is pretty cool, I guess. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. Other than that, let's get into it. So core variables one, complete act three, part one of a rising chorus. Obviously, this is just part of the main story. So this is not hard. Uh, network transit access the ancillary transit nexus in the exotic mission encore i didn't do this and i have done the the exotic mission so i, I i'll see how i get to do this uh, research and development uh seven uh, yeah complete the research quest for specimen seven you have to do this in order to complete this so these two are going to be super simple reset uh your reputation rank twice with fail safe in the helm learning computer three now, this one's not hard just play the game do the fail safe stuff fail safe stuff and you should be able to get it uh open echo chest at the end of the exotic mission encore so i've already done it it was really cool i'm actually going to talk about it because or i'm gonna, probably gonna make a video on it because i do like it that being said it was a lot easier this is probably this is probably the easiest exotic mission i've ever played uh, defeat combatants in exotic mission encore using machine guns and trace rifles earn bonus progress for using seasonal weapons uh, yeah trace rifles and machine guns are literally the new weapons that we're getting this this uh act so this one's not hard acquire the catalyst for choir of one i haven't done this yet obviously i think you have to do it on expert um we'll go see it in a bit but uh red hot riff uh, defeat Vex with Solar Damage and Gambit or Vanguard activities. I'm going to do this in Vanguard just because I've been playing a lot more Vanguard this season. So actually I have to do it in Gambit because I need to I need to get the uh, the title for Gambit. But let me see real quick. So I want to see. I'm pretty sure you have to complete it on Expert in order to actually get. Let me see. Hold on. Bonus with Auto Rifle. No Void though. Hold on increasing incoming damage oh that sucks i was hoping hmm this is gonna be rough I'm, I'm gonna try to do it on um i'm gonna try to do this uh just solo i don't think i have to do it solo considering most of the time you have you don't have to do it on expert i'm gonna try to do it though um solo flawless just to see um but yeah, this was a lot of fun. It wasn't hard. It was more so just like getting used to it. Honestly, the two deaths that I have had there was um, most, I think it was two deaths. Well, technically a lot, a little bit more because the last uh, encounter I had two deaths as well. One of them I actually died and the other one was because um, my game bugged out. Uh, but let me know what you guys are gonna be doing for the season stuff. So I have to go to Ada real quick. <laughs> As for 801, we have Vitrified Chronology, which is one of my favorite shaders just because it gives you a really, really deep purple. Um, you guys can't see it, obviously, because I have no glow, but it has a... Actually, let's fix that real quick. I should always have something that has a glow because, yeah, it's some of the glows that are in the game is just so good. Specifically, like, Vitrified is such a good shader for glows. You guys will see in a bit. Yeah, it's such a good purple or pink or pink purple whatever either way it's a really good glow we have new mo new monarchy new pacific rush or new pacific rush worn and then dead orbit camo as for the armor set it's going to be the falling themed armor set or the lixney armor set whichever i would say falling because that's when we got it when they were falling but that's just me personally so for hunters i'm gonna be honest with you i really like a lot of the pieces that being said there are pieces that kind of piss me off specifically like the helmet and the arms i think are really cool the cloak pisses me off to a certain extent because it shaders really terribly and the chest piece i don't like at all the boots are pretty cool uh for the titans i really like the helmet unfortunately it is uneven or asymmetrical because one of the wings doesn't have the bottom uh the arms are okay the chest piece is pretty cool i think i like the boots and i don't like the mark and then for the, t the for the warlocks i am not the biggest fan of i shouldn't say biggest fan i just think the boots and the arms are kind of on the boring side i think the chest piece helmet and bond are the best pieces so 
definitely pick some of these up especially since they're really good like you can definitely use these especially if you're going for like an elixir look these pieces are going to be invaluable and as for eververse we have bioloom boreal char dreaming shimmer and this is really cool so the omega mechano grasps so i actually don't have this armor um yeah i i didn't i started playing on pc after or uh right at the end of warmind which is why i have a lot of the warmind stuff but not so much of anything after before that because again i started way before so yeah i'm just gonna need all these pieces to come in I would highly recommend you guys to pick these up. That being said, I don't know how it shaders because I was under, under the impression that everything changed color. Unfortunately, the blue right here does not change color. So hopefully these blues do change color because if the, if the blues don't change color, that's going to be a big problem for me. I'm still going to get it, but I'm honestly the piece I'm most excited for is going to be the cloak and that's it really. I mean, the chest piece maybe. But the cloak is the the piece where I'm like, dog, this is going to be utilized heavily for me. Um, for the other classes, let me just go to the collections real quick so I can show you guys because I do think the armor is going to be worth it for sure. So let's go to Titans first. So I've already ha I've been I've been having this for a while, um, which is a funny story. But I ended up getting this in Warmind. It just dropped for me at randomly and I hated it because then it turned into the only piece that I had from everyone. Um, but Titans, helmet's super cool. The arms are asymmetrical. The chest piece is really cool. The boots are asymmetrical as shader wise. And then I think the mark is going to be the best piece from it for, 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 the, for me personally, just because it does. It's like the OG marks, which is why I really like it. I'm definitely going to utilize this for like my nightly looks or just like a Titan look. Uh, Warlocks, I don't remember yours. Oh, that's right. I'm definitely going to be utilizing this helmet for sure. This is a really good Vex themed helmet, um, which makes me really happy because we don't have a lot of really good Vex themed stuff and the Warlocks got some really good pieces. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, the arms are pretty terrible. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. If I remember correctly, let me see real quick. Yeah, I don't think it's terrible. Like, I can definitely utilize that. Um, boots, I don't even remember this either. If it was on both sides, I would say it's a dub. And then the bond. I actually do like the bond quite a bit. It is pretty cool. Hopefully, the, like, discoloration doesn't shader like that. Or it doesn't shader with discoloration. Hopefully, it's just one whole plate, which would be really cool. And since I looked at all of them for the Warlocks, let's just look at the Titan ones. I like the helmet a lot. The helmet is super, super dope. Um, I might as well show you the arms since you guys didn't see it. Again, they're asymmetrical. Um, but they are really, really cool. Chest piece, like I said, I actually do like the chest piece quite a bit. I will probably be using this for a Vex theme just because I do think this chest piece is cool. Um, Omega Mechanos Greaves. Like I said, these are really cool. It's just that they shader differently and they have this right here that's different. So that's the only thing that I can see that is super different aside from the, this knee being bigger than this one for some weird reason. But I still think it's decent. And again, Mark is super, super dope. Hunters, I didn't, well, I showed you the whole thing. So I really don't need to show you the, everything. But I'm really excited for the cloak for sure though. The cloak is going to be super cool. Like this already looks cool. And I'm excited to just, oh my God, I'm so excited. So yeah, let me know. Okay, so wait, are we, no, we're not done with Eververse. Hold on, I'll, we'll talk about that at the end. So stuff, wait, no, emote, chef's kiss. For the stuff at the bottom, we have doubt for trust. So doubt's the ornament, I, whatever, it's the snake, the, I don't really care for it, if I'm being honest. I think the other ornament is way better. We have Star Racer 95. A Fire Break Rescuer. Does the liquid change color? No, it doesn't. Uh, Photovoltaic Shell. You fail. That would be a funny emote on P in PvP. 
you pass. And then for the transmats, we have Dreaming Shimmer again. We have Heartbreaking Entrance, Reflection Effects, and then Sinking Feeling for the first shader, Heat Shielded for the second, Grayscale Undergrowth for the third, and then for the final Bruised Blush. So that is pretty much it for, yeah, that is pretty much it for your weekly video if you guys want to leave by all means you guys can leave we will be talking about a few things and and i gotta ask you guys first and foremost so since the omega mechanos are coming out and i actually don't own this armor and i'm just gonna get it for bright dust because i have bright dust will would you guys like me to wait until i have all of the armor and then make a video on it or do you want me to make individual pieces like, for example, this week would be the arms week where you can get the arms that way. Um, I can make a video on that. And actually, I like that idea. So that way, once we have all of the armor, we can actually combine all the videos into one, essentially. So I will most likely be sh uh, showcasing each piece that I get during the week. So that way you guys are aware that this armor set is being sold. And from now on, I might actually just do that and then do a review video a shader video and everything like that so that way you guys are aware of essentially just what's being sold in Everest. because i do think it's quite a shame that some people missed out on like the intrepid hunter there's another one i think vanguard there was another one that came out and i think that was it i don't think we've gotten anything else if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below but i'm pretty sure it was just the intrepid hunter and the Vanguard Dare stuff that was being that was sold. So yeah, definitely pick up the Omega Mechanos. I'm probably gonna make that video um as soon as I can, most likely. So probably within this uh, hopefully within this week, so that way you guys can get it. And a lot of ice can get on it, so that way more people can get it. Because again, I think some of these sets are pretty cool. Like helmet's gonna be cool cloak is super dope i think the arms are really cool symmetrical the only thing that's annoying is that it shaders terribly but at the same time i can work around that and hopefully these blue pieces do change color as well because then i can definitely work around a lot of this so there's a lot of things i'm going to be working on uh for, first and foremost i will be posting so this video should be coming out first which means that the weekly video which is the story video should be coming out right after this one and I will most likely be running the Encore, um, most likely on Expert, and then just posting that, my solo flawless of it, most probably gonna do that, so that way I can just get that out of the way. Um, even though I don't know if I want to, we'll see We'll see if we can get a cool, em not emote, but a cool uh, emblem for it, because I haven't seen that for an exotic mission in a while, but uh, the exotic videos are gonna be coming out this week plus the chroma cloak stuff as well which if you guys know the chroma cloak stuff is the season pass armor so specifically uh oh shit that's right let me see so this right here chroma cloak mask it's the the level 100 armor so we're gonna be going over that we're gonna be reviewing the the season pass after act one because if you guys don't know act Act one is usually just the 100 and then act two and three is the 50, like 50 and 50 of the rest. So we're gonna be reviewing if this was good or not. I'm gonna be quite honest. I don't know if it's worth it just because there is a lot of things that I kind of don't really give a slight shit about, but we'll go through each each level and be like, so like, is this worth it? Is this worth it? I'm gonna critique it and see like what we can either bring back from old season passes or what I would do if I was in charge of it. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.